there. I thought I would update you on how I like my job at Barnes & Noble. As you know, I'm not doing uh, UPS this year. And uh, so I got a job at Barnes & Noble part-time. I work 10 to 2.30, Monday through Friday. So it's just perfect time for being able to handle things here with the goats and the chickens and not miss any of that. Um, and I get home and you know before dark and plenty of time to do things after work. Um, so I like it, it's just perfect for me. I'm not looking for a career, I'm just looking for a job to earn some extra money. Uh, so we started with an orientation day and that was you know HR per paperwork and then we got a tour of the facility um, from another employee. She wasn't my actual supervisor but uh, just somebody who'd been there for about a year. And the place is gigantic. <laughs> it's 680,000 square feet. There's only two Barnes & Noble distribution centers across the country, one in New Jersey and this one for the West Coast. So we supply all the stores, their books, and then online customer orders as well. So um, I work up in the mezzanine. Uh, there's basically the same thing directly below us and there's two, four, six, eight zones and within each zone is A through Z in rows. So it's a lot of books. It's, it's amazing. And there's more stuff than I thought, um, you know, stuffed animals, toys for kids, uh, which I hadn't been in our local store here for a while. And we went yesterday because I get a very good employee discount. And I was like, oh, okay, I packed all that stuff. <laughs> um, so I was, surprised at what they had. It was more than I had remembered. It's not just books. Um, but anyways, I like the job. Uh, we have a cart. It's kind of like a little restaurant cart that holds three layers of totes. They're basically the size of like milk crate totes. Um, and they're in different colors and that depends on what you're picking for, whether you're picking for a store or whether you're picking for a customer order. And then there's conveyor belts up there. And when you finish your pick, um, which means that one order is complete. Then you put it on the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt has scanners and it sends it where it needs to go. Um, so it'll either, some orders will stay upstairs. So we have some ladies that are packing orders that are customer orders. Um, so, you know, just individual books or small orders will stay upstairs and get packed there. Otherwise, I go down to the big conveyor belts and there's sorting that goes on downstairs. And uh, so that's what I do all day. I go up and down the aisles and um, pick orders and you add totes to orders, however many uh, you need. And that's it. It's pretty simple. I like it. I like it because it's quiet uh, other than the home of conveyor belts and machinery. Um, there's no loud music playing or anything like that, pretty much by myself. Um, I mean, there's lots of people that work up there, but you just go up and down the aisles. And um, and then you have, I since I work four hours, four and a half hours, I get a 15 minute paid break. That's at 1240, there's a little bell that goes off. I feel like I'm in school. And then you go downstairs to where the cafeteria is. Um, they don't cook food there, but they have stuff that you can buy if you want. Um, it's kind of honor system. You just take it and scan it and pay for it. Um, but I bring my own snack. I don't need much because I'm only there four and a half hours. And you, the bell rings and that's like your two minute warning. And then you go back upstairs and start. Uh, so once I'm done with break, I only have an hour and a half and I'm done. And people line up at, they stop working basically at 2.20 put away all their stuff and they line up at the uh, time clock at 225. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You can, um, you can clock in five minutes before or five minutes after the time period and anything other than that is a tardy and that's the way it was at Ulta Beauty too. Um, but I clock in, you know, a couple minutes before 10 and I just get in line to clock out at 225. I, I'd rather work till 2.25 and then get in line. That's just how I roll. <laughs> but
But uh, I like it. Uh, the people have been really nice. The managers have been really nice. Um, I did get a locker and uh, you get one of those clear bags to put your, you know, I keep a Sharpie and a pen and uh, my gloves. They give you a pair of gloves and you wear an orange vest um, and the gloves are very helpful because they're thin but they have the sticky stuff so you can pick things and then your hands don't get, you don't get cut with paper cuts or anything like that. So um, if it's not busy and we've had a few times where we were done with orders, so after break, we did put away. It's called RF pick or it's called put away where we scan boxes and put them away, <laughs> put them on the shelf. And I go through and I turn books and we have excess shelves up above. I bring them down and refill them. And I do that even as I'm doing my normal picking because it bugs me when uh, things aren't full. And I don't want to see the... I want to see the binding of the book because that has a title on it. So I turn them around if I see them that way. <laughs> uh, so anyways, that's my update on Barnes & Noble. So far, so good. I'm liking it. Um, I may decide to go full time if it's available after the first of the year. I'm not sure I want to do that. We'll see how it goes. But if I do go full time, then you've got medical and dental. Um, and I've got three years before I'm available for Medicare. I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, but right now we're going to end our uh, Nevada, whatever it is, coverage because it's a ripoff. And we're going to go with CrowdShare for the next three years. So I might, you know, I'll see how that goes. Uh, we're pretty healthy. We don't have any chronic illnesses. Um, so we'll, we'll check it out. We checked them out. We're going to try it. Um, and, uh, but so anyways, full time might be an option for me because it would be 6 a.m. to 2.30. The only problem with that is then Buzz would have to do goats in the morning unless he gets an early morning job. He's getting a job too. Uh, so anyways, that's it. Barnes and Noble. Thumbs ups for now.